Hello, what's up my awesome game developer friends out there. I'm Shamik and I'm quite sure that each of you who is watching this video is familiar with the extreme and ever increasing capabilities of AI tools like GPT-4. And if you're like me, chances are you have been actively using AI in your daily life, whether for some personal use or for your work to boost productivity. But as a game developer, the biggest question that I had in my mind ever since I got the opportunity to first try out GPT-4 was exactly how much can this tool help us in developing that super ambitious dream game. So before we get into that, let me give you a quick brief about myself. I have been an Unreal Engine developer ever since its release in March 2014 and there had not been a reason for me to look back. Since then, I have been an active Unreal Marketplace content creator, an Unreal authorized instructor, and an entrepreneur running my company Athean Games for the last five years, which by the way is also an Unreal authorized training center. And apart from all of this, I am also an aspiring game developer just like you are. As a game developer, I know the extreme challenges and technical difficulties that indie developers often come across when it comes to developing a super ambitious high quality game. But still, with the release of Unreal Engine 4, things have gotten much better for them. Over the past several years, we have encountered numerous incredible projects developed by students, solo developers, and small teams. The graphics have improved and there are so many built-in tools available that can enhance the quality of the games, cut down the development time, and with the thousands of high-quality assets and code templates available in Unreal Engine Marketplace, it has become exponentially easier for indie developers or solo developers like us to make games that can actually compete with the best AAA games out there. Easier, but still extremely difficult, costly, and time-consuming. Now, let's talk AI, specifically GPT-4. This tool is reshaping our imagination and capabilities in game development. So, in this episode, our journey with GPT-4 begins. We will explore its capabilities in generating game ideas and initiating concept development. But that's not all. We are not just brainstorming here. This is going to be the first of the many video series and in my upcoming videos, I will take this initial concept to make a fully functional game inside Unreal Engine 5. We will see how an AI-generated idea, starting from mere concepts and documents, can evolve into a complete game with unique gameplay, engaging storylines, and photoreal visual quality. So this first video is all about setting the stage of our creative journey. Without further delay, let's just begin. Alright, so right now I am in the GPT interface and I have a custom GPT made that specializes in generating game ideas, game design documents, and everything that related to conceptualizing your game. Now, you don't typically need a custom GPT for this because your default GPT-4 is going to do the job just fine. Just that it is going to need a little brief about what exactly you are looking for and this custom GPT already knows that it is supposed to work specifically on game design and nothing else. So it uh, makes my job a little bit convenient and that's about it. So let me first quickly brainstorm some idea just to show you how exactly this works. Alright, so let me use this suggested prompt. So let me give my own input on this point. So I will set the protagonist to be a female in her early 20s. And I also want to mention that this is going to be minimal on art animations because I am a solo programmer and I want to cut down on the custom art design as much as possible. So I have given references of Dark Souls and Elden Ring. I'm also mentioning that I want non-linear storyline and then some RPG elements. So the concept feels too generic and I'm not quite happy with it. So I am trying to give further prompts and make it iterate the concept over and over again till I get something interesting.
to truly craft something genuinely original and refreshing the concept must be uniquely yours that's precisely what i'm going to do now so i have a dream project i aspire to develop in the future and today i'm bringing a fragment of it here integrating it into this prompt and i want gpt to use my original concept to improvise on the current storyline so let's see what it gives us this time I am genuinely pleased with the initial outcome, especially given that this is our first rough concept. As we progress in the game development, we plan to continually refine and evolve key plot points, infusing additional storylines to enrich our narrative while maintaining the core essence of our original concept throughout this process. Our next step is to ask GPT to develop a series of essential documents beginning with the narrative design document this document will act as the fundamental guide for our storyline outlining the core elements and guiding its development i want the story to be structured into distinct acts and chapters this approach will simplify our development process allowing us to focus on the game in manageable segments Next, I want GPT to write a brief about the game mechanics as well. This will serve as a creative reservoir for our game's interactive elements. Finally, the creation of a level design document for the first chapter is crucial. A level design document is a vital part of video game development, detailing the specifics of each game level. It includes the level's theme, objective, layout, environment, details, enemy placement, interactive elements, and any puzzles or challenges. Great. I am pleased with the progress we have made so far. To streamline our workflow, I have created three separate Google Docs, one each for the level design document, the narrative design document, and gameplay mechanics. As we advance in developing the game, I plan to continuously modify and enhance these documents, ensuring they evolve alongside our game. The links to these documents can be found in the description below. I will now dedicate some time to work with GPT in devising names for the main protagonist and her family, along with a brief character bio, just for our reference. This will help bring depth and authenticity to our game's narrative. And as we all know that GPT-4 now supports DALI-3, which is extremely powerful in generating AI art. So I will use it to create some cool concept arts for our characters. We now have four initial concept designs that give us a rough idea of our character's appearances. While this can certainly be iterated and refined till you get your perfect result, and you can also check out other AI generators like Midjourney, which can give you even better quality concept arts. That's it for today's video. Our next step is to start designing these characters in MetaHuman, beginning with our main protagonist. It's important to note that for this tutorial, our aim isn't to achieve an exact likeness in the characters. Our focus is not on creating the perfect game, but rather on developing a complete game with high visual quality, good story, and decent gameplay experiences. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. In our next episode, we will dive straight inside Unreal Engine 5, where we will be setting up our MetaHuman as a C++ character with some basic movement capabilities. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and press the bell icon to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss an update. Your support really motivates me to bring such awesome videos like this one and helps my channel grow. Also for the hardcore gamers out there, be sure to subscribe to my gaming channel as well where I post all my latest gameplay videos. You can find the link in the description below. Alright, so I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care and 